Hi, I'm Chris Bastriak, driver of the 75 Connecticut, Dolly Collision and Custom, Open Modified. Bastriak now trying to take over the front position. No oh, trouble does. now. He does, and he made it look so easy as Pastriak is the leader of the pack. My uncle started racing in 1976 at Stafford. In 1985, uh, my dad started running an SK, uh, primarily at Waterford. My, we had two cars at that point, and he hopped in my uncle's car. Taped over the seven, that's how he got to five. I started in a quarter midget, I think, when I was five or six years old. And uh, after that, there was a Legends car at uh, Waterford, uh, Stafford, some other tracks around New England, and then uh, an SK around 2003, and then a full-blown modified a little bit in 06, and uh, pretty much full-blown open modified around 08. Uh, this car needed a rear clip pretty much for most of the year last year, so uh, stripped it all down, uh, brought it to Ed Flemke, put a Brand new LFR TFR rear clip on it, uh, powder coated the frame, had a little bit of a color change on this one, put it all back together. Now it's ready to go to Stafford. We bought a LFR car from uh, Rob Fuller in uh, 2019, and then he ran uh, one race with a Kyle Benjamin, drove it at Thompson, this particular car. And then uh, the way the tour schedule had worked out for that season, he kind of wanted to make sure we had two cars, and. Uh, we, we were having a pretty good year and the chance was there, so we, uh, we bought this car from Robbie. Astriac, final time through turn number three. Woody Pitcat reels him in. Off turn number four. Ladies and gentlemen, at the line, it's Pastriac over Woody Pitcat in second. Both wins at Stafford are probably the biggest wins I've ever had. Not that I win a lot, but anytime you could win in anything in Stafford, uh, street stock, late model, modified SK, it doesn't matter. If you're at Stafford and you win, um, you've really done something. Yeah, my dad was just talking about it the other day. He remembers going to the first Sizzler and he, he managed to get in before they stopped selling tickets. The greatest race in the history of spring, right? I mean, uh, it's the biggest race of the year at probably the biggest track for Modifieds, the one they're most associated with. And it's been around for 50 years now. It's the one you circle on your calendar. When they announced it was going to be an open mod race, I was ecstatic. I, I couldn't stop thinking about it. And uh, I thought, I think what they're doing with the qualifying is really, really neat because uh, no matter what, if you show up, you're still going to have a chance to win a 40-lap race. Even if you don't make it, you still ran it. You, you still got the race at Stafford. And in 40 laps, it's not like time trials. It's not like a heat race. Anything can happen in 40 laps. So just making it's going to be an accomplishment. The money's awesome. They're putting up a great purse for this event. A lot of times in these open shows, the, the last 15 laps, the race totally changes. I mean, you'll see guys that hadn't been up front all day, all of a sudden, you know, they come in, they make a change, and maybe they swap a tire, maybe they got one left, they wake right up. And uh, if it gets pretty wild near the end without caution laps counting, if that guy in second can get close to the leader on the last lap, I, you might want to be in third. Stafford is its own place. There's no place else that you go that you could say like, yeah, that's like turn one in Stafford. Or, no, that's kind of like, you know, how you approach three and four there. You know, there's everywhere else, and then there's Stafford. I'm um, going to run all the open races at Stafford, the open shows at Thompson, and all the tri-track races. That works out to be a, really a great little schedule for someone that comes out of Lisbon, Connecticut. You know, try to go, have fun, do the best we can.